All right, now I turn you over to um, uh, Bone TV. Oh, and to I see somebody. Uh, and to uh, YouTube. Can you see me? I see you perfectly. I see you perfectly, except you're not wearing a shirt, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome <laughs> to the show, Burt Cry. Wow. wow! Look at that. That's something else, man. Oh, whoa. Oh. Someone's had some real game. <laughs> hey, Bert, I have a compliment for you and me at the same time. I was doing a video and I was wearing a tank top and he goes, some guy wrote to me and he goes, whoa, are you on Bert Kreischer's trap workout? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I like it. <laughs> are you really up working out or are you just looking, standing in the gym shirtless? No, I'm up. The, I got a call from my mom and she goes, <laughs> she goes, well, I did. She is so casual. I did radio this morning. 10 minutes, it wasn't that long. I was like, Mom, just, you know, like, 50, 10 minutes is very long. Yeah, yeah, and radio time, that's a lot. If you, She's made it longer than most comedians make it on this show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm dying to hear what she said on this show because I'm, that woman's unhinged. So I, I asked to call her this morning because uh, we're doing a radiothon today where we're collecting money the whole day for Metropolitan Ministries uh, after the, the devastation of the hurricane, and I found out that your mom worked at Metropolitan Ministries and dealt with the kids. And I think to me, because I know you're a crier, I'm not a crier. In fact, sometimes I think I'm dead inside. But when I think about the kids and, uh, you know, these kids are mostly kids of homeless people and kids who don't know where their next meal is coming from. And, and like your mom discussed this morning, kids who have no foundation and uh, Metropolitan Ministries has been there to give them that foundation to stop that cycle of it, of it going on. Anyway, when I found out your mom was there and we're doing this big fundraiser for Metropolitan Ministries, I wanted to reach out to her today. And then uh, we 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 just ha- auctioned off a lightning suite. We're ha- we're doing a party in a suite uh, Thursday the seventeenth, and uh, the uh, suite went for forty five hundred dollars. We we auctioned off Metallica tickets that went for a couple of thousand dollars. So we're raising money, and on top of that, we're taking donations. And I honestly wanted to reach out to you. Uh, I consider you to be Tampa's favorite son. Certainly right now, I would say, I would say up until you, it was Hulk Hogan. And then after Hulk, think about it because he was the most famous person to come from Tampa. And yeah. now I think you have become that most famous person to come from Tampa. And I also know, I said this to your mom today. The one thing about Bert that I think that as a parent, I'd love to see in my kids is your love of life. I Ever since I knew you, before you were rich, before you were famous, you just want to do stuff. You just love stuff. You want to see stuff. And I think people appreciate that about you. You're still impressed by things. And uh, our listeners love you. Our, the area loves you. And you have spent, you've made memories at the beaches. You've been out here uh, partying. You went to school here. You went to high school here. You should be the guy that that does something for uh, Tampa Bay to help raise money to help these people. And I know you would, but I don't think anybody's bothered to ask you. So I wanted to see, I don't know what your schedule is like. If we can possibly maybe do a show, maybe set up a show where we have you come in and do a comedy show and we raise money and give the money to uh, to charity. And I figured you would be down with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 That's, yeah, that's a no-brainer. I can make that happen. We, uh, but we have to do it soon because uh, we have, uh, you know, these people are are really hurting, and yeah. uh, there's a lot of people that need to be taken care of. And I, I don't know what I don't know what the process is. I know you have agents. I know you have managers. But we are good. We have good friends with people uh, in theaters. We have Ruth Decker Hall. We have uh, the Mahaffey Theater where you shot your special. I mean, there's a bunch of people here that are right in the heart of things, and I'm sure we can work with to bring you here for a show. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, these shows would sell out. Okay. I mean, listen, man, I'm, I'm in, I'm in a hundred percent. You know me old school bird. A hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent really only means about 87% yeah. with bird, but that's pretty good. That's a pretty good percentage. No, i man. I've been, I've been getting texts and, and seeing, you know, seeing on people's Instagram, my, my, my Jen Ivroni, her place is devastated. Uh-huh. I mean, I, uh, Mike Perez is doing, uh, trying to rebuild down by the beach. I'm, I'm watching all my friends kind of like, have lost everything. I mean, yeah. uh, and it's, 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 it's horrible. Devastating. It's horrible when it's your friends, but when you see, I mean, uh, just how many small businesses were, were shut down, how many people lost their homes. These famous bars, Frenchies got whacked on the beach. Oh, There's so okay, many places. You got me that. I got nowhere to get my grouper sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. I can do it. We can do, uh, we can do, uh, I guarantee you I can get Saturday night next week. I guarantee I can. Okay. All I need I to do. I Saturday night next week. I'll reach out. I'll have my agents reach out 
today. Okay. And I should I should be able to if they have availability, and I'm, I'm sure someone's on their website right now. But I bet if they have availability, I can get next week. Okay. Because I can, yeah, and uh, and yeah, we'll book we'll book uh, as many shows as we can do. Let's work on Saturday night. Okay. And see if we can raise some money. I'll see if I can reach out to some uh, some. See if some, we can get a couple. I mean, we have, to come yeah, out. we have a mutual friend in Baker Mayfield. I'm sure between the two of us, we can. We can I was texting some... with him this morning. Oh, just checking on. His were house. you really? Yeah, I was. At six o'clock in the morning. That's rude. He likes to sleep late on his days off. It was a late night text. I went and I. I it's sober October, so I was white knuckling it last night. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still doing that? Did you start it? I am still doing it. I am oh. still doing it. I don't know why. And now it's got OCD in me. Oh. So hey, listen. Here's the beauty. You don't know this. But I know that if I get into a flight and do something good for this for my friends in Tampa, my wife will get on the flight and she'll go, you know what? Sober October doesn't work this weekend. I want you to have fun. <laughs> yeah. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> uh, do you remember the first Sober October you came on the cruise with us? <laughs> Buddy. That had to be the hardest thing. And that was, when, that was when Rogan hadn't even really taken off yet. You were like, it's me, Rogan, Ari. We're all doing Sober October. And I was drinking. I go, hey, we're on the cruise. Nobody's going to know. And you're like, no, I have to do it. Oh, God. Yes, so uh, I'm, I think I'm going to smoke weed this year, this this month. I know there's no way I can do stone sober. I'm not a Mormon. Now, is are you growing weed on the other side of that wall? Outside? No, it's over at the office. Oh, and 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 I don't I don't smoke weed. I don't grow it. I don't know. But I why are there different types of like you growing the different different strands? <laughs> I, I wish I had that answer. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We planted all the same things, and they all just came out. Different. Oh, really? All right, that's yeah. hilarious. Have you smoked your own weed yet? I have not. I have not. We're just drying it today. Yesterday, we're and today we're drying it, and then it will dry for ten days, and then it will cure for four days, and then we can smoke it. Okay. All right. Are you nervous yeah. about that, or are you like, oh? No, I'm dying to smoke it. I, I know because I know where we got it from. And those guys' weed is like through the roof. It's in Humboldt County. It's called Huckleberry Farms and Ridgeline. <laughs> and it's high end weed. Uh -huh. And they're also growing the same type of plants, but they're growing uh, a ton of it and then giving it to me. Oh, wow. Wow. So Just what you need. To give out. Yeah, yeah. All right. Good. I don't smoke a lot, but I would smoke with you. Okay. I'll bring weed next week. All right. Was, <laughs> you gave me a, uh, a candy bar when I was at your house. That had mushrooms in it, and you were like, "Yeah, you were like, eat two squares. No, 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 eat one square. Eat no, eat two squares." And I went, "I'm not eating any of these squares. I don't know what to take now. I'm just going to be seeing the devil in the mirror. I don't want to do that." Yeah, that's why I'm doing like a California sober October. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I went to a concert last night. I'm like, "There's no way I'm not smoking weed. This is ridiculous." Who'd you see? Goose. Oh, oh you yeah, love Goose. Goose. Good, yeah, they were on your cruise. Yeah, it was weren't so they? funny. They hit me up. They hit me up, and they were like, "I was on a boat with Ari in uh, Vegas," and and they hit me up, and they're like, "Yo, we're in. We're gonna do a private show in L.A. Do you have any interest in singing a song?" <laughs> and I was like, "I was like, I was like, I'm not gonna know any of the words to their songs, like full the full right. lyrics. I sing them in my car. Yeah, I'm like I'm not like a, I'm a grown up. Yeah, <laughs> and." And so I was like, absolutely not. I just want to come to the show and have a good time. And they're like, great. And then Will Forte gets on stage last night and bangs out a song. I'm like, I'm uh, such a fool. I'm such a fool. Could have been you. Hey, what do they me. what do they call those muscles behind your back here? What is it? Traps. traps yeah. Your traps are unbelievable. Yeah, look at them. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Bulldog. You, look like, you look like Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm going to call my agents. I'm going to line it up. I think we. I, I'm almost certain we can get next week. It's got to be soon. So uh, I will find a venue. I will find. Uh, I will call you the second I know. We'll promote it on here, and and let everyone know. Yes, I still have new material. Your boy does not stop thinking. So I will bring new material. I'll do some best ofs. I'll do whatever. I'll make it a really really fun show. I'll try to get some celebrity drop ins. I'll reach out for everyone and see what we can make happen. Maybe I guess Mike Couch will open up the show. Yeah, and yeah. Just stand up. What if I what if I uh, draw tattoos on my face and uh, just tell everybody I'm Jelly Roll over there? We could do that too. <laughs> oh, man. Pray to God when I need a favor. Uh, all right, Bert. That is the that is great. I knew I knew if we asked you, you'd be totally cool with that. Uh, yes. I, I like to include myself in this. Two of Tampa's favorite sons coming together to raise money to help the people of Tampa Bay. 
Amen, brother. Maybe we can do a maybe we can do a, a something's burning. I'll bring my crew down. We're supposed to shoot something's burning next week. Oh. Maybe we can shoot it at my parents' house. Get Hulk Hogan to be in it. I have a pretty well. I don't have to bail out on that one. <laughs> 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 I have a pretty big outdoor kitchen. If you need to use it, I have. Dude, can I just okay. tell you? Uh, out of all the things that our friendship has given me, the best thing I have ever gotten is that Rec Tech Grill. Dude, it's amazing. I, it, I have not gone to I have not gone back in any grill once I started using that thing. I love that thing. Dude, I, can I tell you like I'm I'm really blown away. I don't it's not getting a maybe it's not getting a lot of coverage to me. It's not getting to me, but this hurricane's devastated. I thought it missed Tampa. Like I thought it hit Tallahassee. So it did, but the problem is when the winds pulled in over the water, when it hit the warm water, it caused such a storm surge that the water came up with the wind and came up over the seawall. So even though the eye of the hurricane turned and went that way, the rush of the water came in and destroyed all of the stuff that's on the beaches. I mean, you get your you move inland where I am and you see trees down and things like that. I had no power, blah blah blah. But these people that are down at the beach where when the water came in, it came right into their houses and destroyed their houses. It's it's really awful to see. That's uh, that's um, I mean like I saw people swimming down Bay Shore. Yeah. Canoeing down Bayshore, swimming down Bayshore, it is, and it's awful. I don't know why people would swim. That's poop water is what it becomes at that point. It's just gross. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't understand that. But I, in all seriousness, you agreeing to do this and come on down here. If we do one show, that one show could raise a uh, hundred thousand dollars. If we do a uh, more than one show, it, depending on how what sells and what your availability is and blah blah. blah. I mean, we literally could raise hundreds of thousands of dollars. I think that's very cool of you. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, it's it won't be. It's not a problem on my end. I am free next weekend, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get on it right now and call my agents and see what they can get. All right. And uh, and I will let you know the second I know. We'll put them on sale. I'll come on as soon as we find out. I'll come on the show. We'll promote it. And then all I need is like, listen. Here's the deal. Everyone just spread the word because we need this word to go as far as Orlando. Yep. So people are coming out. And so people are coming out all over the state to support the state. Yep. And yep. and I'm I'm doing it not just because I grew up in Tampa, but St. Pete's in trouble, Clearwater's in trouble. Like there's a lot of places. That whole Tampa Bay area is uh is what we want to help, and we need to help just a little. For we need people from driving up from Sarasota. Yeah, I, I guarantee we get the Sarasota, Bradenton, those South, even the Fort Myers people. We reach a lot of people in this audience. They know someone you. Someone find someone in Thonona, Sasso. Okay, we need <laughs> Sasso. and Perry. We need somebody yes. from Perry. All the places that you never go to, but you see Brandon, them signs. You can Bra- finally say you're from Tampa. <laughs> you can finally say you're from Tampa. Rabonia. <laughs> Rabonia. You know what came up in my memories the other day when we were on the cruise and we all sang. On the Lido deck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bert, I'll let you go back to work out. Thank you so much. Tell your mom again I said thank you, and uh, we'll, we'll be in touch this week. See you, pal. I love you, buddy. You're the I best. love you. I'll call you, I'll call you later today. All right, see you, see buddy. you buddy. There you go, Bert Kreischer.